Hello, I'm Julie Cronshaw. I've been teaching Chiquetti Method Classical Ballet in London for more than 25 years. I graduated from the Royal Ballet School Teachers Training Course in 1986 and danced professionally before setting up my own school. I'm a Fellow of the ISTD in the Chiquetti Method and hold the Enrico Chiquetti Diploma. Most recently, I've made a film called Ballet's Secret Code, which is available on this channel. And for more information, content and even more videos, you can go to the website balletsecretcode.com. I hope you enjoy this video. What do the white swan and black swan characters represent? As I mentioned, Odette is not only Siegfried's soulmate, she's also his soul. The symbolic associations of the white swan represent those elements I discussed earlier, purity, grace, freedom and strength, also known by the word virtue. In contrast, the black swan represents sensuality, bewitchment, power used for nefarious means. Whilst Siegfried is dazzled by Odile, he falls under the spell of the Maya, the illusion of the material world and all its temptations and pleasures. He's not only betrayed his soulmate Odette, but also potentially his soul's real purpose in this lifetime. And so Odette must perish. Finally in Act 4, we return to the monochrome of the lake. Odette sacrifices herself to break the curse. She jumps into the lake as a human, followed by Siegfried, and the ballet ends with the death of Rothbart and the breaking of the spell. In the original version of 1877, there is an ambiguous, more gothic ending. Odette and Siegfried are engulfed by the rising waters of the lake in the storm, and overhead an owl grabs the crown that was on the Swan Queen's head. As the storm subsides, the moon pierces out between the clouds, and the audience is left with the image of swans gliding across a calm, mirror-like lake. This ending is altogether more ominous. It suggests that if you take the wrong path in life, you too will come to a bad end. Swan Lake the Ballet is a bit of a hybrid of myths and legends, as I mentioned at the start. If you'd like to read about the different sources that may have been used in the original synopsis, I recommend The Ballet Called Swan Lake by Cyril Beaumont, published by Dance Books. Just a reminder, I've made a film called Ballet Secret Code. It's a one hour documentary available on YouTube on this channel for free. It took a long time to make, I'm very proud of it, and it's all about ballet technique. You can find it on YouTube or click on the link below.